cat interviews at uber confluent indeed and many many more companies i have seen it all after countless hours on the other side of the table i know exactly what top companies are looking for especially in lld in this course i'll share the insider blueprints what to focus on especially key design patterns how much multi threading very important counter question traps and how to tackle them confidently this course is structured practical and tailored on what companies are looking for right now let's get you into ready right now so so far we have seen introduction to lld oops and design principles now let's start off with creational design pattern so before we go on to the individual depth of it let's understand what a creational design pattern is so basically imagine that you have a factory in which you have to produce let's say cars smartphone furniture now obviously you can assemble each product and then you know produce it but it's a headache if you can set up some automation such that you can produce it you know all these item creations can become much more simpler and easy that's what simpler and easy can be done by a creation design pattern how let's see so basically instead of creating the objects directly you know all over inside my code i can use these creational patterns which will provide some smart and controlled way to handle this object creation pattern and that is the reason they are given the name creational design pattern they help us in the object creation in a much more controlled smart and reusable way now again it is more about managing how the objects are created and ultimately used so basically it's kind of efficient system to produce your objects now obviously we saw that why it is called creation because you are creating creating the object object creation is the reason why they are called as creation and making them flexible and reusable is the entire essence of why it is a design pattern in all now it is you can similarly think of it as in a real factory you have to create right so you have a manager who creates things and you know like who handles the creation of things you don't have to worry about things and that is the reason it is called as creational design pattern and ultimately creating objects in a much more controlled and organized way now let's see if we would have the problem then uh, how could we have solved it in a real life sense we have cars trucks bikes now obviously to create these one way is that you specify everything okay in a car there is a headlight there is a color there is a all that thing you know just specify everything and every person who will create a car he will have to literally specify everything and you know you will see that code duplication will for sure come in so what happens that everyone has to specify the de details of the object creation and there is a possibility that no one should know about some things okay engine can be same why everyone want to know about it so i can you know abstract out things and don't want others to create it obviously not not only this but also what if i want to change how my car is created in future then everyone has to change it individually that's also an issue and again that's the like main thing right you have to modify in literally every piece of code so the creation design pattern says i will centralize and streamline the process how you will create your objects which ultimately makes it more easy and flexible to maintain it and to work on it now let's see who are the ones who can help us in making that design as creation design pattern which means that who will actually handle that object creation efficiently firstly we have singleton design pattern now this is you can imagine as the factory manager like basically he is just one person who is in charge of making the most important product and i why i need that i need that such that he knows what he is creating and he will not repeatedly create it again and again why he is needed is let's say if i have multiple people who can create things obviously then you know if i have let's say got a sharon premium version i want it to only create 30 instances of it but then if i have multiple people who don't know about each other they will end up creating multiple instances then i i, I might end up end up having 90 instances of bugatti sharon which i don't want right that's the reason i will have a manager he will create how many instances are required that's it only one person and that is the task of singleton design pattern for example in the real life code you know in the real life code you have a single database connection that is given by your singleton design pattern this will prevent you know much more resource which wastage which you might have and also this will have a consistent behavior across all these 30 bugatti chirons next again as you can see it's creating the connection for you next is factory design pattern as you can see 
that so far we were talking about factory 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 itself right that's it then it is the name given to us factory design pattern which ultimately says that you can produce different type of products and that is handled by factory for example a car factory i can create different car models i can let's say if i have a maruti suzuki or let's say i have bugatti so let's say i have ferrari so i can make la ferrari i can make different ferrari models again i have got different models but yeah i can make different models of ferrari that is the essence of car factory right next is abstract factory again don't worry we will go into deep in the next lecture in the individual we will see everything we will see factory we will see abstract factory we will see literally everything the entire essence is to give you an idea of what they are and giving a summary of all these design patterns at one place okay abstract factory it is kind of a parent of factory which means that imagine as a mega factory which means that you can create similar familiar objects for example i have a furniture factory which can create not only chairs but tables sofas as well now again table can be a factory itself i can create a you know moving table i can create a standing table i can create a, a you know a dining table i can create a furniture table like again i can create multiple tables that's factory but i can get different type of products that's abstract factory cool next is builder pattern again all these things as in what i will teach will be on the basis of priority singleton is very highly very 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 highly important uh, factory important abstract factory not that important builder very important prototype not that important again when i will teach you i will tell the importance of everything but yeah that's one quick thing that you will know the importance of everything which you cannot forget now builder pattern says that okay for example you have some you know very fancy car right you want to like you want to put a very fancy car now that fancy car needs to have different different things which i will add different different things and again i have multiple options to add different different things but i will let's say add this i'll not add this i'll add this i'll add this i'll add this you know i'll add this so whenever you make something you might you must have seen that you use a constructor right if you remember in the oops course we saw what's the use of constructor constructor helps us to initialize an object so you are making an object but now you want a custom object you want some custom features to it so if you will make constructors then you will have to make different kind of constructors for different cars different type of objects which is not feasible that is the reason we use a builder design pattern it helps us to break the creation process into steps that i not necessarily have to go about on to these ones which i don't want i can simply take this one then automatically this one automatically this one i can simply add these features into my object and then make my final object we will see how but that's the essence of your builder design pattern which is creating very complex product but like for example a custom car you know a bugatti chiron customly made for aryan like this obviously not possible but yeah like this it will help you make step by step with only and again obviously without needing to have a constructor and you know making different constructor kinds for different possible combinations because if i have let's say five features i literally can have multiple i can have to choose five number of combinations of how different cars can have this feature so either i will make 32 constructors or i can use a simple builder which is just one class that's it so, you know the clean code that's how it comes in picture now next is prototype not important but it simply says prototype simply make a copy of a product like it is just like copying a product which is cloning of any existing product obviously it will save you a time and also resources for example if you have made one bugatti chiron now obviously you just have to clone it 30 times that's it so simply pass it to prototype and this will do your work this will simply create your projects objects sorry uh, which you want obviously you can use that as a clone of a game character or any in any game you know that you have multiple uh, players you know dummy players or you can have multiple trees so all this kind of cloning of objects happen with the help of prototype design pattern now obviously coming on to the fact that why you use why you want to use it ultimately you saw that the entire idea is object creation that you will be simplifying how objects are being created the entire headache as you see that it is how simplified it is now to create an object via builder although if you don't understand it no worries at all this is just you can visit it after learning all the design patterns later on which means after covering all these patterns it is kind of a summary of which i am giving right now although it's at the beginning because i want to give an idea of what creational is but no worries if you don't understand it but that's the essence of it 
now obviously uh, because the flexibility that i can change things you know i i don't want to make everything i can change in future i want to add let's say one more feature let's say for one more feature so now rather than having 64 combinations of constructors i can just simply write one line to add that feature or to not add that feature that's how flexible it is and obviously it is easy to maintain because you have less less piece of code you have more manageable you know factories to maintain your creation so it is much flexible and easy to maintain as well now uh, some of the real life use cases in computer science is as we saw database connection you want to only have a connection just once to database and that we do via singleton design pattern this is very 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 important cool next creating you know some ui elements you can have factory abstract factory if you have multiple ui elements which you can use same by you know same time all that stuff you can simply use your abstract factory and factory it is more of that okay if you have something same just simply use your factory and make that all that logic goes into the factory itself and don't handle anything by yourself just delegate the task to different de different design patterns and don't handle thing by yourself that's the entire essence of things and as we saw last time cloning objects you know by using prototype objects prototype uh, design pattern we can simply quickly clone multiple multiple characters multiple cars multiple bikes multiple tables multiple things i can create via prototype design pattern and that is the essence of it that is you have some smart managers you know basically you have a factory with you and you have some smart managers and that smart managers are these design patterns and what and how they are smart because they help you to control how your objects are created because it is creational design pattern and again why they help they help us to make the code more organized flexible and maintainable and that's the essence of lld to make your code more organized flexible and maintainable and ultimately making your entire process so streamlined that you will focus on the core functionality and not just object creation and you know not making your code messy with this object creation itself now lastly as you mentioned that a good factory manager always ensure a smooth production same way your creational design pattern always can also make sure that your software development process is efficient and scalable for your future needs let's go on next to the factory design pattern and then we'll go on to deep at individual creational design patterns which we saw just now cool let's see you next video make sure that we hit the like button to flex bye bye